Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing Tomorrowland. To be honest, the trailer for this movie didn't interest me in the slightest. But as soon as Chris Stockwell and Jeremy Jones gave it a positive review, I just knew I had to see it. And I'm gonna have to say, I'm not disappointed. So without further ado, let's begin talking about this movie. This movie is basically about some teenage girl who has to deal with some crazy shit that makes no sense while she finds some fucking magical pen. I gotta say, I'm surprised, legitimately surprised by the massive amount of creativity in this movie. I honestly can't think of a movie that's similar to that one. And that just shows how much fucking effort was put into this movie. Now I'm gonna talk about the protagonist, Casey Newton, played by Brett Robertson. She is a normal teenage girl, which is good. I like to see normal people in extraordinary situations. When she found that pin, she was confused and didn't know what the hell was going on when she touched it. And you know what the very scary part about it is? It only works when she touches it, no one else. And because of that, people around her thought that she is fucking nuts. And I can't help but feel sorry for her because of it. And she is also creeped out by the fact that she is supposed to be special. Now I'm gonna talk about Frank Walker, played by George Clooney. He is basically the guy who knows exactly what Tomorrowland is, and he doesn't want to tell the protagonist. And you know what, I can't really blame him because he is very fucking rational. He has very good reasons to not go. And I can also tell he somewhat cares about her since he is trying to warn her that she has been manipulated. Is he right or not? Well, you're gonna have to see for yourself whenever you watch this movie. Since the rest of the characters appeared in one scene pretty much, and I can't talk about the other major characters without getting into spoiler territory. I will move on to talking about something else. The special effects. Our special effects I wasn't impressed by at all. I'm sorry guys, but no matter how fucking beautiful the special effects are, I just can't praise them anymore. Because I've seen great special effects so many times that I can no longer say that they're fucking awesome. And keep in mind, that's not a flaw of the movie. The movie has nothing to do with this. So I'm not holding this against this movie in particular. But I will say though that there was a lot of effort put into it and the effort paid off. But I can't talk about the story though, and I will. The story is very confusing. For the most of the movie, I was wondering what the hell was going on. Now with bad movies, that would seriously harm it. But since this movie has good characters, and I actually cared about everything that was going on in a good way, I'm gonna have to say that the fact that I didn't totally understand what was going on is a good thing. The main reason for that is because of the fact that it makes the movie more fucking mysterious. Which means I have to watch it many more times in order to fully understand it. And the movie that makes me think is something that I really appreciate. And it also shows that the director of this movie actually cares about the children and the Orients. Unlike those asshole directors who generalize all children as fucking morons. I am so sick of seeing these movies targeted towards kids where that mindset was clearly there. And the fact that I finally get to see a movie that's the exact opposite is something that I can appreciate. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This movie is fucking awesome in almost every aspect and so I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching the great day.